Hello fellow Amiga users, I'm Bill. I'm Anthony and we are the Guru Meditation. Come with us today and check out our digital imaging with the Commodore Amiga exhibit at the Vintage Computer Festival East XI. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to another year of VCF. We're here at the InfoAge Science Center in Wall Township, New Jersey. And you might notice this enormous dish behind us. This place is awesome. Absolutely. This is the Diana site. And this was where they had a project to bounce signals off the moon and receive them back here on Earth. It's basically a precursor to the Apollo program and uh, a necessary part of uh, getting ready for space flight. And it was right after World War II. It's pretty incredible. The other incredible thing that's inside is the Vintage Computer Festival East XI. We've got an Amiga exhibit, we've got hand scanners, we've got DCTV, come take your picture, have it converted to gorgeous 4096 color ham mode, we've got Digiview, and all sorts of uh, awesome Amiga digitizing equipment. Let's go check it out. Yeah, the ham mode is a beautiful thing. Alright Bill, so what do you got there? Well, these days everyone takes digital images for granted. For example, here's my cell phone. It can take 12 megapixel or 16 megapixel images just by clicking a button and voila, there it is on your phone, upload it to Facebook, you're done. But back in the late 80s, it wasn't so easy. Here, I have my beloved Commodore Amiga 500. What I'm doing is I'm using something called Digiview. Digiview takes a composite video signal brings it into this little converter box and passes it to the Amiga through the parallel port connector. Awesome. So what's the, what's the camera setup back there? So this is actually a black and white vacuum tube video camera. Now the reason why it's black and white is because color cameras weren't so common back then and also the resolution of black and white cameras were better than color cameras back then so the default for Digiview was a black and white camera. Now in order to get a color image from the black and white camera, you actually have to do three scans. One for the red channel, one for the green channel, and one for the blue channel. You put those three channels together and voila, you have a color image. This is something really cool. This is actually a DigiDroid. Now you can manually turn this color wheel and scan the, the red, the blue, and the green channel. But you know, time is money and doing that for hundreds and hundreds of pictures takes a lot of time and you have to sit by the computer. What the Droid does, it actually turns the color wheel for you. And uh, let me show you, this is really cool. We actually have, uh, I've got an Amiga 500 motherboard there that we're scanning. It's not the most colorful uh, thing to scan, but hey, it's an Amiga 500 motherboard. What's more beautiful than that? So we'll go over to DigiView. You go to Digitize, and as you can see, you can scan the individual channels, red, green, and blue. Or you can hit Auto, and when you hit Auto, the droid takes over. There he goes, he's scanning the red. And you can see it's bringing in the, the red channel information in black and white on the screen. Now he's doing the green. There's the green channel information. Over to blue. And now it's bringing in the blue channel information. And now if you look at the screen, you're going to see it combine all three channels and make a color image. Here it comes. Look at that. Fat Agnes looking gorgeous in 320 by 200 ham mode. Voila. And there it is. This is a 320 by 200 ham image. Now I'm not talking about a ham sandwich, I'm talking about hold and modify, which was unique to the Amiga. It used 4,096 colors to create a digital image, which was absolutely revolutionary and ahead of its time. Other computers had two colors, 16 colors at the best, but the Amiga was displaying 4,096 gorgeous colors that just blew everybody away. So what we have here is just a continuation of the exhibit. We have some other ways that you would get images into your Amiga from the real world. And, and one way, which was really popular back in the day, was a hand scanner. These were basically a light and a receiver and a little box that plugs into the parallel port and you would literally drag it over a document and scan it into the machine. Later on, Sharp came out with, uh, with this which is basically taking that hand scanner, putting it in a motorized device so you could just lay it down because
because when you were sliding your hand on this, you had to keep real steady and keep it straight, otherwise you'd see the image skewed. Over here, we have similar to what the, the uh, Digiview did, only this was the more professional, so you had what were called frame grabbers. These were big boxes that had RAM in them. They could take a color video image, freeze it, and then send it into the parallel port of the Amiga. These were used in TV stations. The big boxes like this, underneath the Super Gen, which is just used to display out S video to my monitor. But here we have the consumer version, which was this little Vidi Amiga hooked up to my camera. We can get color images. Again, it's RAM in here. The color image from the camera gets stored in here and then sent over the parallel port into the Amiga. So, uh, Bill, I saw a huge throng of people around our booth. What have you got there? This is a popular one here. Uh, it's the Amiga Photo Booth. So anyone who comes by our booth can have their picture taken with a modern DSLR camera. I then capture that image with the Amiga and convert it to gorgeous 4096 color ham mode. And then I email that photo to them so they have a little, uh, a little souvenir to take home with them from VCF East. So one of the things that's cool about this exhibit is um, this is a modern DSLR camera. It's cutting edge technology, a Canon 5D Mark III camera. But the amazing thing about it is it actually has a video output. It's got a composite video out. So when you take a picture, you can hit the play button and it'll play it through a composite cable onto your TV screen. But that opens up a world of opportunity because I have a 24-bit capturing card for my Amiga that has a composite video input. So that's what allows me to connect the camera to the Amiga. Now most people assume that I'm using a USB connection, but it's actually not. It's a video signal that's coming out of the DSLR camera and going into the DCTV, which stands for Digital Composite Television. So, uh, so check it out. Here's a photo I just took of our buddy. I hit the digitize button, switch over to composite mode, do a scan, and there he is. That's the actual image coming out of the camera. And we hit the left button to start the scan. And now the DCTV is scanning the image in 24-bit color mode. Now the Amiga didn't have 24-bit color, so how does, that, how does that work? Believe it or not, it's actually not a bitmapped image. This is actually using like, the video waveform information to create the image that you're looking at right now. I'm going to save it out as 24-bit, and I'm going to bring it in to one of our old favorites, AdPro, Art Department Professional. In AdPro, I'm going to load in the 24-bit image and convert it to 4096 color ham mode. Here it comes. Oh, so this was image processing back before Photoshop. Way before Photoshop. 4096 colors. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> you can see all the, the banding in the solid colors because there's not enough colors to make the, the grade from like the darker image to the lighter, the lighter part. There's something really charming about ham mode. It's unique to the Amiga and even an Atari guy looks good in 4096 color ham mode. In fact, I think he looks a little better. Yeah. <laughs> so after I go into AdPro and convert the file into ham mode, I bring it into Deluxe Paint and I give them a little watermark to remember the day. Uh, then I convert it to a JPEG and they have a nice little souvenir to take home uh, after VCF. Wow, what an awesome weekend. I had an absolute blast. I love seeing people's faces when I took their picture and converted them to 4096 color ham mode. We also had a blast meeting viewers of the show. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. It was great hanging out with you. Yeah, we love you guys. And guys, thanks so much for checking out this episode. We really appreciate all the comments and likes. It really means a lot to us. Right, we will see you on the next episode of the Guru Meditation.